it's me again crazy bag lady so it's friday thank crunchy it's friday blue sky woohoo i don't know how long the blue sky is going to last but we'll enjoy it while it's there lovely so morning me lovely flora look i've got you some fabric to make you a crown oh going to make you very fancy um pat peggy and all my little friends uh what else have we got little bubba um positive potato hope you're all doing okay uh, don't forget we're all here if you need us big hugs to everybody if you're having a bit of a tough time remember you're not alone and if you just suffer with general anxiety and stress just all the time also remember you're not alone there's a lot of us that feel like that as well and we do understand so calendar of the day so friday what's this the world is full of magic it is not every day but sometimes it is don't ever forget that so lovely chanel's wisdom we've got a woman has the age that she deserves Ooh, i think i'd like to be about 32 again i think <laughs> black cab wisdom we've got um if a life is worth living it's worth living once don't take the risk and just exist oh be daring be different the aim of life is to live a bit more fully each day that's right so in other words do what makes you happy hard life isn't it right breakfast so breakfast this morning it's blueberry we eat some blueberries can't stop eating chocolate it's no good <laughs> honestly sat, i sat last night eating a cabbage cream egg and it was lovely <laughs> i've been so naughty but i think because i've had a stressful week and i don't feel very well with this blooming cough and that so you do go a bit naughty so i've been a bit naughty <laughs> right anyway so the only person that's come for a brand late is florence Right, you go then. Nobody else came, did they? You're a dedicated muncher. Boring jobs. So we need to wash up and it's dishwasher. Uh, I've got a pack of parcel and it's already 25 past 10. The day is absolutely flying by. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing today because I don't feel 100% and it's horrible. You only keep coughing. I don't really want to get stuck in a shop coughing my head off. It's so embarrassing. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm doing today. Hmm. It's nearly 11 o'clock. I've just realised my milk's outside. And they want to pick the bin up from yesterday. Right, two jobs. Let's go outside. Here I am. Oh, and my milk. The reason my milk is so far down my driveway is because obviously a milkman comes in the night, they put it on your doorstep, but because Florence sleeps in my bedroom, every time the milkman bought the milk, the dog would start barking like in the middle of the night, it was really annoying. So we told him to leave at the end of the driveway, which is what he does, bless him. <laughs> Can you find her under there, Dolly? <laughs> there is a teenager under there somewhere. Can you find her? Where is she? Can't you see her? Oh dear, she's there, don't worry. <laughs> You're making look very worried, Ruby. Where is she? Is she hiding? Oh, you find her, she's there somewhere. I've even opened the window. Woohoo! I'd like some fresh air in. It's like warm, but windy. And I think today and tomorrow it's going to be hotter than, was it Greece or somewhere? Um, Somewhere like 18 and 19 degrees. It's totally bonkers. Mm. Real life right there, me with an arm full of washing. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Very glamorous. Beep. <laughs> oh, and it's such a relief, isn't it, when you get to put your NHS letter in the bin, when you've been to your appointment and you're okay. Whew, such a relief, honestly. Oh, just emptied the bins and then I realized it's 11-11, make a wish make a wish because when you're watching this video it was actually 11 11 so you've got permission to make a wish make a good one 
Right, it's quarter to 12, but I've got to drop parcel off at the shop for my husband. So I thought, oh, I'll go now and get my neighbour's paper. That's another job done before it rains, because it's still sunny at the minute. So I'm home. <laughs> And I was just looking for some bagels, so I've just seen if I've got some bagels. And then I get a little top on my leg. Hello! <laughs> Are you beautiful? I oh, know, yeah, you're lovely. It's very exciting when it gets to dinner time, isn't it? Hey, it's exciting. Hello, yeah. Can you hear the air fryers on? Oh, lovely. In the washing machine. <laughs> mm, to hang or not to hang? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. But then it's like warm and windy, so it's the ideal weather for dry and washing. Oh, honestly, this rain stuff is doing my head in. Ooh, right, so I've hung the washing out. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. So I've just made Ruby a little uh, bacon bagel on the last Easter plate. They're so cute, these plates. Mm. Well, Dolly's living in hope that the sun's going to come back out. And <laughs> she's decided to sit on the patio. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, yep. The sun is definitely going to come back out. The patio is warm, although the patio is probably a bit damp. I've just been outside and hung my washing out, and I nearly slipped over on the actual grass. It's like a pure bog. I can't believe how wet the grass is. It's so bad. It needs to stop raining, and my fence is getting further and further back towards the dike. And at some point, I think we've got a really windy day tomorrow, and I'm hoping that my fence doesn't blow over. Oh, gosh. Dinner, bacon bagel, cup of coffee, and Winifred. <laughs> Look at her, so funny. Ooh, that was delicious. I don't know how they know you finished though. Like, as soon as I put the last bit in my mouth, Dolly starts whining. Even Winnie's got out of bed. Unbelievable, you must know when I put that last little drop in my mouth. Right, are you ready? So, Florence, uh, Dolly, and Winifred, quick Winnie, I dropped it. <laughs> quick, before somebody else gobbles it up. Oh, lovely, that's it. Yum, yum, yum. Was it nice? I know it was delicious, wasn't it? It was so tasty. Mm. Right, so it's now gone dinner time. So I think we need to do a little bit of like tidying up um, and put out some of the bits we bought last week from the range. And I've opened the window, let some air in. Oh yeah, lovely bit of fresh air. Mm. The greenery has gone. What do you think, Dolly? Does it look different? Um, <clears throat> so I have got the other stuff that I bought the other day to put on the fireplace. I love it at night when it's all like lit up. It looks so cute. Mm. So I'm experimenting with my green stuff that I got from the range. Looks okay, I think. So I'm messing about with disco balls. I'm wondering if I could hang one up there. I don't know if they're there. I wonder what I could hang it with. I need some like strong thread. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not, but they are so pretty. <laughs> so from disco balls to washing and rain clouds. So it hasn't rained so far. So do I hang this out as well or am I tempting fate? Well, the washing is out. Stop barking. <laughs> it's windy, I know. Stop parking at the wind. Oh, so I've just had a phone call from my husband. They've gone up to Scotland to fetch two cars and they've ended up not buying the first car. So now they're stuck up near Edinburgh and he's like, I don't think I'm going to be home until about 10 o'clock tonight. Oh dear, what a nightmare. Ooh, and books. I've just read this. It was so good. So I was reading this and I got this far through and I thought... This is actually boring. I thought, I don't really understand it. It's like little diary entries all the way through and it just wasn't very gripping. So I thought, I'm gonna give up. So I gave up, I stopped not reading any more of it. So I started this one and this was really good. It's set in the olden days. I love olden day stuff, uh, but it was so gripping and you wonder what was gonna happen and it had quite a good ending. So I'd probably give this mm, eight out of 10. I enjoyed it, it was good. So if you're looking for a bit of a thriller, I can recommend this one, I enjoyed it. Mm. And then there was two disco balls. <laughs> We've gone disco ball crazy. Look where stool's been, it's left a mark in my carpet. Right, and then I've put some beads around me. Greenery as well, but I don't know if I like the beads as much, I think it probably looks better without them. 
Mm. So I'm giving everywhere a bit of a dust down as well. My friend's watching me. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Bless her. And I cannot believe I had the window open all day. And it's lovely. It's so warm and like fresh. It's so nice. Lovely to get some fresh air in your house. Mm. So now I'm faffing. <laughs> Dusting, moving things, um, taking some stuff out. And sometimes less is more. Um, I think there's probably too much stuff on there. Mm. My friend got bored of watching me. Hmm, half is two. So we've just got a couple more bits to put out. So we've got this lovely bowl, which I absolutely love. Um, and then the beads and then this um, air freshener thing, reed diffuser. <laughs> I found a frame. Well, actually, I've got both. They both came from the charity shop. But I've managed to put it in it. It says you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Oh, yay! Quarter <laughs> past three. So I've just made myself a nice cup of coffee. And I'm wondering, shall I have a little bit of Easter egg? Because obviously I'm not really 100%. And a little bit of Easter egg does make you feel better. And I've still been faffing. <laughs> so I've put some apples in my little heart bowl. I don't know if I prefer it with nothing in it, but I thought mm, it works quite well as a fruit bowl, actually. There always seems to be too much stuff on my worktop, though. Always. I'm thinking... I need to still get rid of some stuff. Secret Tim. This is my secret stash. I hide it in the cupboard. And you do know Tesco are going to knock on my door any minute now and ruin my little coffee bake tree. So the doorbell went and ruined my last Easter egg moment. And I went to the door expecting Tesco to be stood there and there was nobody there. So I opened the door um, and there was just a parcel on the doorstep. And I thought, oh, my hallway smells nice of lavender. Guess, guess what's in my parcel? Some dried lavender. So that's why everywhere I smell nice of lavender. This parcel smells absolutely beautiful. It's just some dried lavender off uh, eBay. It's, excuse me, it smells absolutely beautiful. And bing bong, Tesco has arrived. Right, let's get it all put away. I can't believe it's five to four. The day has just flown by. Oh, right, 4.25. Let's get the washing in. So, 4.35, I'm just waiting for Winnie's going out for a wee. The only time she moves. Um, and it's already starting to get really windy, but I've got to pick a parcel from the shop and I need to post my neighbour's paper. And I can't be bothered to go anywhere or do anything. <laughs> right, ladies, we're going to the shop. <laughs> and we're going to drop paper off. So, Florence didn't want to come, but Winnie did. Winnie was really keen to come. She came running to the door. So, let's go. It's really windy. <laughs> come on.
just me and you. Hey. I'd want to go, Florence. Hey. I don't think you need to go under the bush. windy um i think we've got a storm coming tomorrow or something storm i can't remember it's got a name um it's a lady i think anyway so 25 i really need to make some tea right the tea is underway so for tea tonight we're having ham toasters i've done mine james is ruby's in the air fryer my poor hubby's not back till at least nine o'clock so i'm not sure what he wants to do about his tea so i'm just doing hours now Oh, it's been a busy day, hasn't it? Even though I haven't been anywhere, I feel like we've not sat down once. Right. I'm waiting for my tea to cook. Dolly will not come in. Oh, she is now. And I've just noticed a bloody weed. Look at that. How rude is that? And I swear that wasn't there this morning. I would have seen it. Where has that come from? <laughs> it's like as if it's taunting me going, you've done no gardening. The weeds are coming to get you. Whoa. They're coming to get us. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. It's horrible. It was bad enough that one over there near the gate. <laughs> Look, that the spreading. Oh, Ooh, and there's the tea. Lots of salad, milk, ham toasty, and some Tyrrell crispy crisp. Lovely. Off to enjoy Ooh, it. Oh, my tea was delicious. <laughs> right, it's your favourite time of day, isn't it? Oh, it's a penny off. Right, there you go. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right, Winifred, where are you? Right, there you go. I've got to empty the bin again. I've already emptied the bin once today. I think we need a bigger bin. Right, you ready? Go! <laughs> there you go, my darling. Wow, getting towards seven o'clock. And it's still light. Woohoo! It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, so I've been very busy all day moving stuff around. So obviously you've got that little basket thing there. That's not staying there. I'm not sure about that there. And then I moved my TV cabinet back a little bit. Here's my fireplace. Here's my little lights and the little candles and stuff that I put on it. Um, it's very cute. I really like it nice. It's so like soothing. Um, obviously my little light up tree over there. I took lots of ornaments and stuff off there. My disco balls, woo! It's still a bit of a work in progress, um, but it's nice to, oh, move stuff about and play house. I've enjoyed it. Right, me dears, I'm going to love you and move you. So many thanks for joining me again today. Obviously, it's probably not really been that exciting and it's difficult when you still don't feel 100%. It takes it out of you, doesn't it? And I'm sick of coughing. It's horrible and it's worse when you lay down. It's so annoying. You feel like you need to get a bog brush and put it down your throat and like clear your pipes out. It's so horrible. So anyway, and I also want to say thank you so much for each and everybody that's commented and left me little well wishes about yesterday and stuff. It was so kind of you. So thank you so much for thinking about me. And I really hope that I have inspired somebody, if you're worried about something, to go and get yourself checked out. So thank you so much. All your little hearts and your comments. It's so kind. So thank you so much. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with its ups and downs, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. And my little apron shop's down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.